Hey everybody, it's Gladys with Road to Self-Reliance and I wanted to do a little bit of an update. I'm, I'm filming this on June the 20th, 2021 and I'm kind of looking at what's growing in the garden and what's not and I'm going through some of my books here. Um, I will put a link to this. This is a permaculture planner journal that is available on Etsy and I'll put a link to that below. Um, but anyway, I've been going through, I've got my seed inventory, and then I'm trying something a little bit different here. I didn't, the journal entries are great if you do a lot. You know, I'm, I'm still in the city lot and don't really do a lot right now. So what I've started doing is kind of keeping a calendar and then putting some notes that fill in a little bit. So the calendar may just say, you know, hey, I planted... I planted basil and green beans and parsley and blah 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 and then over here I can go in and go okay on this day yeah I planted oregano this variety and here's the container I put it in and I planted lemon balm and I planted sage this variety and, and different things like that and can make some notes to go with it so I'm trying that out to see if it works um, and then also got my calendar for a few months then here I've got the seed sowing, so the date, what I sowed, it says quantity, but when you get some of these little seeds, I just throw a bunch out. But I just put a few notes on it and and going through that. So I've been going back through what I've planted and what I haven't. And so here I planted green beans and I planted two of the contender and two of the burpee stringless. These are both bush styles because I grow in containers. But I didn't mark which ones were which. So two of the plants sprouted within a week. They're doing good. They look great. The plants look great. The other two, one sprouted and was doing really good. The other one sprouted and then they both died. Now the contenders are from 2019. So I'm, I'm thinking it may be they're just they're old so I want to plant a couple more seeds bean seeds in there and the bush is what's in there on the other side so I may do them or I may do I planted these in another container last week and they haven't come up yet but again it's only been a week so I may I'm gonna do probably one of those two go back with these and try them again and see and if I have the same results and go okay those seeds aren't any good get rid of them or just go ahead and do these because I think these are the ones that came up really good if not well um, I'm not going to be in much luck then I've been trying to get bee balm and echinacea I've planted them a couple different times and neither time have they germinated at all so I gotta do a little bit more work on that I mean I'm just direct sowing them it may be too hot, but I really don't think so. And then I've also got some yarrow. And I'm thinking what I may do. Again, this is in a container, but I may just get a few seeds from each packet and just kind of mix them together and just sprinkle them in there and do it kind of like a, a wild meadow and just see what happens. See if any of them germinate, if any of them will sprout. And and go from there. I did get some new potting soil so I'm going to mix some of that in and make sure it's got some really good fresh soil in it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Then I've also got Aunt Molly's ground cherry and I've got a container that's got some purslane growing in it and I, that was one of the ones I had planted I think the bee balm in and something came up and I thought it was the bee balm and then it got going and I'm like that's not bee balm it's purslane so I think this is the pot I had purslane in last year and this may have just come back so I may go ahead and start um, start the ground cherries in there and once they start getting bigger then get cut the purslane dig it up and, and eat it and do that and then this is the peppers I planted first and they are doing fabulous um, I'm getting ready to cut one that's orangey um, 
one plant's not very big but it's got two big peppers on it looks really good the other two plants are in the same container I started all three of them in the same container and when they got bigger I transplanted two of them into another container the plants look great they have bloomed like crazy they are setting the peppers like crazy but some of them were starting to get blossom end rot so I picked all those that had the blossom end rot and cut that off and went ahead and sliced them up and froze those to have later and I went in there and I've trimmed off some of the um, the leaves especially lower down just to make sure that all the nutrients are getting up into the peppers so I'm keeping an eye on them because I'm hoping they start out that green color that light green color and they're fine there but if you leave them then they turn orange and then they turn red and and the seed packet says somewhere on there that they're best um, when they're orange and that's the best time to go ahead and pick them yeah they're best used when yellow or orange and have an extended arms anyway so I'd like to be able to leave them on there the ones I've had to pick were, were still green so I'd like to be able to leave them on there and see if they'll start turning but anyway and then um, I planted a couple of these and the plants have sprouted they're coming up so we should have some of those and I mean we've hit the time of year here in zone 9b the Atlantic coast of Florida where stuff's gonna kind of start pooping out it just the sun's just too intense it's hot it's the sun's intense and with containers I can start moving stuff around so I'm looking at doing that this is about the time of year I start doing it in, in middle to end of June um, we've had some cloudy days this week so that's helped out a little bit but it's probably time to start shifting some stuff around so I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna do this I'm gonna try these one more time I'm gonna go soak a couple of those overnight and plant them tomorrow and see what happens anyway that's all from now till next time